So everybody knows who I am. Why don't you tell everybody your name? I uh, King Rocky Visions. Uh, live in Connecticut. Mainly reside, you know. Yeah. I haven't had a New Haven rapper in a while, son. I'm from born and raised in New Haven, too. I like that already. How'd you come up with your name? Uh, it used to be C. Rocky. Well, I, I always rap, so uh, I make beats also. Okay. And I do a lot of uh, filming and stuff like that. So I end up merging. My name ended up changing a, a long time. So like. I see you brought the camera with you. What do you got? Well, that, that's the, that's the uh, which one is that one? 6500. 65, Sony. Yeah. And yeah, I got the 6500 too, but this chip records better in low light for some reason. It's only a fucking Rebel T5, you know what I mean? But I mean, you know, can. you gotta work it. Yeah, Ken and Ken is always gonna be Ken, bro. <laughs> yeah. like, I, like I mainly like you know with him, he he with, with the pictures and stuff like that, kind of got it like more set in a yep. really nice way. But yeah, yeah. So how long have you been making music? Uh, whew. I've been. Uh, I mean, I always dip and dabble, but. I've, I've been making music since I was probably like 11. Okay. But like actually putting something and putting it together and all that stuff, that kind of came later. But I always had a passion for it because my brother's uh, DJ Prime. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, Capo from, knows DJ Prime. Really. Yeah, yeah, that's my blood brother. Okay. So I was born in the studio. Okay. So. I met your brother like once. I'm surprised I haven't, you know, met you. But uh, so who would you say your musical influences are? Uh, it's real diverse. I like I like a lot of music, so I, you know I'm in the Wale's, but I like the Jay Dillas. You yep. know, yeah. I, I like pretty much all sorts of the rap. I even like the rap now because I like the fact that things are changing and it's not meant to be the same, but it's created where people can go do their own homework. And if you like that type of sound, do your investigations on how to make that good sound. You know what I mean? On certain sounds that that you want. So, yeah, things know, can't stay the same. Things can't stay the same, and that, and if, if things stay the same, you don't grow. Yes. You know what I mean. So uh, music changes. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Grows and even if it grows in different ponds that you don't want it to be, but you gotta accept the good with the bad. You know. Hundred percent. Yep. I think they're, like everybody got their main little pockets. You know what I mean? That they fuck with. Like, so I'm a Wu Tang head. You know what I mean? Oh, I love Wu Tang. So yeah, yeah, that, you know, it met the man to my pocket right there. But mm -hmm. you gotta fuck around with some of this trap shit nowadays, just because like that's and I make the beats too. You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. I I came from the era of the ADATs and stuff. Like, I'm young. I'm, yep. I'm. You know what I mean? But what I, because I don't want to like reveal like age, age. Yeah, but yeah. What I'm saying is, as millennial. When my brother was in the studio, you know, he always had like records yep. and stuff like that. Yep. When all the new stuff came out, it was, you know what I mean? Like he had everything. Yep. So I was always around it. Like I used to take his CDs, take his tapes and you know what I mean? He made beats yep. on EPS and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I'll go down the line. Yep. Um, I get excited what, talking about it. <laughs> no, I see, I like Gary. I could talk, like, do like a whole thing about just That's Gary. Crazy. Um, what is, what would you say is uh, your creative process? You know what I mean? Do you come up with the beat first? Is it the lyrics? Sometimes both? Well, it, 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 it's moods. With me now, um, I do a little bit of everything. So, it's been like, in this, I recently dropped a project um, car, uh, called Cargo Planes. It's on iTunes. Uh, okay. United Masters, I dropped it over there. And uh, pretty much the that creative process, I did some of the beats and I worked with other producers. So I wanted to keep that rhythm. So I didn't feel like that, you know what I mean? It's just because it's in-house. I want to yeah. make sure that like as the creative part of it, because yeah. remember we all, we all, you know what I mean? You got to mesh some sounds in sometimes. It's a jambalaya. You know I mean? It's a jambalaya, yeah. So I, I try to make sure like as for me as an artist that I don't just stick to doing one thing. But like I'm, overall, I make projects and music and you know, et cetera, et cetera, stuff like that. Multimedia based. Now, as an artist, I would say. Yep. Um, what is, um, if you could pick like a dream collabo album, like three artists and two producers, let's put that, that little album together right now. Right now? You know what I'm about to say. I'm about to say, man, Alchemist. I'm Alchemist talking about is Alchemist. dope. Alchemist. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? Go down the line. I need one with Cardo Got Wings. I need one. I want to do a lot of, I want to do a mixtape or EP with Burner, something like that. Like, I would love to do stuff like that, you know what I mean? I, I, right now, I've been, I've, been, I've been doing more cold collabs and I'm building on EPs yep. to create a, like a little Rocky verse of that type of stuff. So yeah, like yeah, when yeah. I film, I like we that. can shoot according, even if it's on a whole nother project, yep. you yep, can yep. still use the song in a good sequence. 
So that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, for like the younger kids, I've been like everybody likes Metro Boomer. I've been fucking with the Honorable C Note a little bit. Like yeah, like I, a lot of his both. I, I fucks with I fucks with Honorable C Note. Yeah, like a lot. Honorable C Note. I bought a beat from 808 Purpose before. We were just talking about that. Okay. So you know what I mean? Yeah, I I, I didn't even record on it. I was so nervous, like, cause this, that was the first time. Like I was, and it, I I paid the whole lease out just. Okay. Uh, take yeah. it. You know what I mean? He asked me for a, a good amount, but you know, shout out to 808 Perps. Like, you know, I'm definitely gonna be dropping that soon. And as uh, far as like I said, producer EPs, that's the type of shit I'm on. Like, yep. I want to make like if I, I I am a producer, yeah, I can make five beats. But I got Larry Love right now that he's a producer. He make five beats, or the next person, or, or whoever I'm dealing with. With that, we're dealing with something in the back end of the production side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not meaning just the recording side. Let's say we want to shoot a vid, we can do that, man. We can shoot it accordingly with the sounds being sequenced and stuff like that. Yep. Do you think it's important for an artist to have a, like a live stage presence or to get those numbers up on the socials? I come from both eras. That was the, that was the, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring it to you. I'm gonna bring it to you. I come from both eras. I come from the difficulties of when I was young and we all did, when we were performing, I come from the turn up era. All my friends were music heads, meaning like all my friends did music. Like, you know what I mean? Years down the line, all of that kind of like tend to change. Meaning like, uh, like you know, as people grow and stuff like that, like the, the expanding part of like meeting other people, doing other things, that kind of like, kind of brought more of an impact to the situations. Yep. So, you know, like just dealing with other people and, and keeping it rapidly with the flow and, you know what I mean? Especially with the pen. So. Yep. yep. Uh, would you say storytelling is more important or the vibe? Both. Because yep. you can still story and tell with a vibe. Okay. And, 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 and nine times out of ten, these artists right now, their stories is within their themes and new vibes. That's the only thing. But when it comes to lyricism, you got to understand these, the, like the, the, the I, I feel like it's crazy because, you know, I'm, I'm born in 92, so like, I'm so happy that I was a part of like the from Street Fighter coming out, Street Fighter 2. I'm a I'm a Street Fighter head, like okay. you know what I mean. I'm born in '92 though. Yep. When did Street Fighter come out? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. that type of stuff. I'm an anime kid. I, I love that type of stuff. So I think with the story storytelling and the vibes, and then you know these kids nowadays, they they're like they are faced in the computer. Yes. Phone, computer. Yeah, yeah. Matter. So they're anime. And everything as, as is a form of expression. Yep. So like you know, it, it, it comes with this, the storytelling and then the vibe. So. Yeah, I agree. Like uh, some people it, put the vibe first, but you know, gotta respect. I it. even throw stage performance in, like in there. Like like Drake has a pretty good stage performance for a young Drake. kid. And then Method Man, like I said, one of my favorite dude jumping into the fans like. Yeah, and all that together and that jambalaya, like we said, you know what I mean? And that, like, there's something to get in the, the, the crowd going when you're on the stage, too, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, what are you think, what are some of your goals that you would like like to be accomplished? Like, I know we're independent artists, but when, well, you're, when you're dead, how would you like your music to be remembered? Type shit? Well, I want to say like this. First, you know, we have King Rocky Visions LLC and we have Brand Culture Media LLC. We have like we have clothing and stuff like that. Cool. And we're based out of the media part. So I technically, you know, me doing me as like an artist and stuff like that, I'm always gonna do me. But like as the media part, we, we have more than just one person with it. Yeah, yeah. So that's like cool. the like we create we create clothing and you know, certain pieces of art it, it stands out more than others sometimes. So, you know. Sometimes yeah, I dabble in that, that shit too. Yeah, that's important, I think, actually, nowadays, because you can make your own merch line, you know? Yeah. So, you know, and then, like I said, I, I do a lot of engineering. I have a studio out in West Haven. You can always hit me up directly if you want some your time. I'm not going to give the prices on the, the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. we're not going to do that. Yeah, but no, just DM, say that. DM, you know what I mean? Yes. You know what I mean? Like, um, on a side note, your brother's still making the music? My brother, my brother is. I'm, listen, he can't live without music, man. <laughs> you know, okay, I yeah, go crazy like a, without music. I know man. how it is, man. I you try to give it, it up, and it just like, keeps creeping up. <laughs> it Creeps up on you, like that's why I'm still here, like. Yes. You know, I'm just getting my feet wet. It's been a while since I performed, but I know 
I know the fundamentals of it. I've done the performing live where, you know, take the vocals out and stuff like that. I come from both eras. I, I was doing shows and, and, and we was doing them yell frat parties and stuff yep. like that with, with, with like the like the, uh, the the teens that just came out. And we were like, I would say I just graduated high school. Like, you know what I mean? And we, we was doing those type of shows. Yep. Like, you know, uh, I pretty much done all of that type of fashion. So me coming back to it, it's more like a sport thing. Okay. As as I'm trying to get my like my situation right. Like hey, let me get reps. back to what's going on. Yep. What's going on, you yep. know, with, with the, the movement and you know, it's not really an eye for eye no more. It's it's, it's a team development situation with, with everything that's going around, you know. We all got all individual moves and stuff like that, but as an overall, if I pick up the phone and I call, yeah. I got, I got, I got the clutch now. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like we, we're gonna make some moves on certain situations. You know, obviously we not, you know, we human. Yeah. Got bills. You know oh what yeah, I mean? that like, sucks, but we do. But you know what I mean? Besides that, I'm trying to aim for it. Okay. You know. Um, what are your like pre-show rituals? How do you get to get on the stage to help the younger cats like and to get just like just you're getting your mind how you get out there? Do you recite a little herbal courage, liquid courage, pray? Could be anything. To be honest with you, it's different now. Um, like I said, this 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 one is more like I want to be around diversity, versatility. Okay. You know what I mean? So. I don't feel comfortable, like you get what I mean. I need to not feel comfortable again. I was so, okay. You get get out I mean? of that like, comfort zone. So that's you know, once you find like your box, you stay yeah, in your yeah, box, yeah, you yeah. get that box in your and pocket, gets, yeah, and it goes like that. But yep. yeah, people don't fail to realize that that pocket becomes another pocket. Word. You know what I mean? So I had to get out of those pockets. Yes. Right so I'm trying to like emptying out my pockets. I'm I'm being as honest as I can when it comes to like trying to do things like musically right. Uh, as for myself and, and others and stuff like that, you know, I can't always speak for everybody else's individual moves, but like, yeah, I'm I'm trying to get myself back out of this, this comfortable situation. That, I like you that. Know, so, I yeah, never yeah, really hear a lot of the people I interview be like, 